filter here. Now, as the name suggests, it will help us filter some data. Uh, this would also again mostly work on the XML system. Here, what you can do is uh, let's say if you want to filter only a couple of records, let's say for the billing values that are greater than 10,000 rupees, then only those should be processed. The others one should not be processed. In cases like this, you can use a filter here. Okay. Here you can say filtering something, filtering, say, what's my payload here? Filtering only works with XML or JSON also? Um, no, XML. Only because XML. here it will take, yeah, it will, it will take your XPath expression here. Let me just check filtering lecture room. Now here you will have to uh, write XPath expressions here. And then we have something called as value type again here as well. First, let's see the node list. Okay. Let's say I want to send the record where the room number is greater than 1 to 10. 10. Okay. So let's see. detail at room greater than 10. Okay. Again, okay. now this is a normal expert, but this one for I'll show it to you. This will throw me something, some issue. Required node list with value. Okay. Cannot cast Boolean into something else. That's something that you will see mostly with export. Now here, click it. So I think I've had it long, but I need to change the location. Okay, export not satisfied. So let me If you see this data, only the record where the room number is greater than 10 have been passed ahead. Okay. If you carefully see this XML export filter here, okay, slash employee slash detail, then I have a square bracket and then I have room greater than equal, oh, sorry, greater than 10. Now, if I were to write only this, when we wrote only this, it gave us an error. There's a reason. Now, here, value type means what is the output, expected output of this expression. Node list means an output like this, where we have a couple of nodes here. And But when I write a condition like this, this condition will only result into true or false. So that's basically an invalid value for this. When I write this condition like this, that means under these details, no, oh, sorry, for this details node, whichever room has greater than, oh, sorry, value greater than 10, take that detail node. And so this becomes the main node. And under this, I would have my condition. 
because my actual data is inside that node. So that's why those square brackets. Are making sense. Understood. Yes. No. Confusing. So this declaration is only for node list. Ah uh, yes, kind of yeah. Okay. Can we give so this just, directly here for node list, like uh, without giving the previous uh, part, just the just the filter condition? Uh, for example, just like this room greater than yeah. ten. Like, mm -hmm. this. Mm. like this? Yeah. Or square brackets because it is node list. Like this? Yeah, that one. And also, uh, as you have told, it should be inside the square brackets for node list. Just the room and room greater than 10 and the square brackets. OK, uh, it will not work. OK, it will not work. Just room, Just room 10. But it'll say that. OK, cannot cast your. Uh, what is it? Boolean. To oh. node info. If I try it with this, okay, maybe if I detailed, then my square bracket like this, it'll work. But again, because I want details node, so it is outside square bracket. But the uh, node where I want to add my condition is inside uh, somewhere else. So that's why this path has details outside and my condition thing inside. See, this works. Why this double slash is uh, man? Just because we are uh, omitting the first header in the payload? No, uh, this double slash is called as your uh, kind of a relative path here. Okay. Yeah. Employee slash detail slash room room or sorry room or basically a double slash slash or sorry double slash detail. It's the same thing. Okay. okay. That's why Pardon? just to remove employees, we are giving yes. double slashes. Now, yes. uh, if there are multiple things above details, like employees is under some other head, I mean, some other parent node, and it has some other parent node, whatever it is, it's just single slash or double slash. That's it, correct? Yeah, double slash details. Whatever it is, it will simply find the first node with name details and it will pick it up. Okay. But you should avoid try uh, like doing this uh, because you might face issues in case there are multiple nodes and something like this. So unless and until you're sure that there's nothing wrong or something incoming in, you can use it. But then it is just good practice out there to use your full path. Like, like this. Because then whenever you are debugging as well, in that times also this thing helps you. Whenever, let's say you are new to the interface or something like that, this uh, actually helps you define or oh, sorry, determine which nodes are being omitted, what is the X path. Again, a convention, not mandatory. You can also use slash slash. Okay. So those are basically call your relative path and absolute path. Okay. Uh, that was node list. Basically, giving out the output as like this. Okay, couple of notes. If I change it to a Boolean, now if I keep the same condition, See the output here, it's basically true. Reasoning here, the first row is greater than 10. Okay. If you want the output as true or false, change the value type to Boolean and add your condition here. This is also something like this. 
is room greater than 10 yes no true false so that's the clear output boolean uh, integer will give you the output as an integer so as be like this and then execute it it will give you the output the value of room as an integer Eleven point zero. The first one. My end. One minute. One minute. Here, if you come to boolean or this one, why is it only considering the first one when we said it is greater than? If the room is greater than ten, there are multiple nodes, right? Yes. Then why is it only again, the first one? It will. It will just find the first one and execute the result. Okay, now if I want to uh, put this integer and uh, filter out the entire payload, then no. Okay, so these integer and boolean are only for the first uh, nodes. Yeah, yeah. Only okay. a couple of conditions where you have definitely like is last node true, then you can go like that. Integer will give you the value here. Understood, but then we have. Is. Nodes, right? Yes. Yeah, multiple. So further conditions will have to be put there. Room is equals to. And uh, first... then those will become your node list. Okay. Okay. Fine. So you'll get all the nodes. Yeah. Then again, for if I go with the node, now see I am keeping this condition as it is. Okay. I get the whole node. That means your start tag, data, end tag. Here. This is also again only for the first node. If there are 20 nodes, it will only see for first node. How does that work? I didn't get it. It will only give you the uh, details, like data of that specific XML part, the element. Very rare condition. You would need it. No, man. If I'll have to put a filter on the entire mm -hmm. payload, and if I have to use the node, if it is only giving me the, uh, if it is only giving me the filter for first node, then what about the twenty? I mean, twenty others, like nineteen others. If I have to put on them as well, the same node uh, filter, then go with the node list. Yeah. Okay. Here you get the data in multiple nodes. Okay, okay. Usually you will only uh, 99 percent of the time you'll use this node list. Okay. Because you'll have multiple record data or multiple XML data, and then you would like to filter something and filter all of them. That is why you would be mostly using this node list here. So that you get multiple nodes instead of just one. Understood. And then there's the last one in the string. String will again give you the out the value of that node in string format. Eleven, just eleven. Let me go back to the node list one. Let me just notice something. Uh, this becomes my payload in the next steps, right? Yes. Yes. No. yes. 
would i be able to process this payload pretty what would i be able to process this payload let's say in a message mapping or something 